Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about happiness and what I think are my top three priorities for staying happy and being happy. And I just want to kind of share them with you guys and see what you guys think about them. I, first of all, I'm going to say that I don't think that everybody is just like born happy or can be happy all the time. Um, but I do think that you can choose to be happy and you can consciously make that decision and that choice and that lifestyle on a daily basis. It does take work like anything else in life worth working for, right? Worth fighting for. So um, sort of my things that, the three things that I think sort of shifted my focus into just being happy and choosing happiness. Um, number one, and this has got to be the number one most important thing I think that affects people's happiness, affects my happiness, is gratitude. Um, if you choose to be happy, you have to, have to, have to learn to give thanks and be um, just thankful for all the things that you have in your life. Um, an, an exercise that I can suggest is every night um, before you go to bed when you're laying down, um, you know, before you go to sleep when you're laying down in bed, think of three things that you're happy for. They don't even have to be new things. You have to do this every night. They can be the same three things every night, but you have to choose three things at least and just say, say it out loud, say it in your head, you know, however, say it to yourself, but just say that I am thankful for and just give yourself three things. Um, try to do the same thing if you can in the morning. If you don't remember, that's okay. Do it at least once. Every day, uh, I, I like to do it at night time when the house is quiet, kids are sleeping. As soon as I lay down, I just remind myself of three things that I am grateful for, that I'm happy for, I'm thankful for. And just the attitude of gratitude just will change your focus. And no matter what like things you have going on in your life, if you can find three things to be grateful for, you will find that your energy will just shift and you will find more and more things to be happy and thankful about. And they could just be simple things like, I am thankful that I'm laying down here breathing and I'm able to be thankful for something. You can say that I'm uh, thankful for my eyesight, I'm thankful for my life, I'm thankful for my family, my friends, my job, my house, my bed, whatever it is, I am sure that every single person out there, if you are, are able to sit and watch this YouTube video, then you have many things to be thankful for. So I'm going to say it, you can say at least three things. I try to think of at least 10. You can start with three. I have a list on my, um, my phone with like 10 or 12 things that I'm thankful for. I'm always adding things in there. And I think that is just the main thing. If you're only going to do one thing, to shift your focus into happiness, make sure that you give thanks for all the things that you have. So that's number one. Number two, I'm going to say is keep life simple. I'm and just going to give myself as an example. Like, we try to keep our life very, very simple. We try to live within our means. Uh, we try to under schedule our time. We try to keep less friends that we can handle, less appointments that we can handle, um, a smaller house than we can afford. Um, just things like that, you have to have wiggle room in, in life. And I learned this from my own family growing up too. Like if you max out yourself, whether it's your finances or your time or, you know, everything that you have going on, you're just going to be so stressed out that at the end of the day, none of those things will matter anyways because you're just like running from point A to point B to point C and you have no time to just stop and take everything in. So just keep it simple. Um, if you can, if you have, if you can afford a $500,000 house, buy a $300,000 house. If you can afford, you know, if you want a five bedroom house, buy a four bedroom house. Like smaller spaces, spending less money and just having, doing less than what you can will always, I think, just keep your life in balance. And I like having extra time to get places or wiggle room and cushioning everywhere I can and it just trust me being having been on the other end of the spectrum trust me life is so much better when you have that added cushion and and wiggle room everywhere whether it's your time or your finances or um, just yourself um, I think it's very very important so I hope that makes sense um, but just have extra cushioning for everything I hope that makes sense um, that my third thing is try to do at least one thing for yourself 
and don't be sorry for it like don't apologize for it whatever it is even if people think it's bad or people might not agree with you or they might make you feel guilty for doing certain things but you have to have that one thing that's not negotiable um, for me it's I guess my like love of luxury things like maybe Louis Vuitton or just shopping and stuff like I'm not going to apologize for it people try to make me feel bad on YouTube for it too um, I can afford it I want to do what I love it it's for me it makes me happy it's, it's so nice to have that one thing that you can take ownership of however like small or silly it is and not be sorry about it so there I said it and I'm not sorry about it so have that one thing whatever it is if it's it's your morning Starbucks coffee if it's your um, time that you lock yourself away doing your nails whatever it is um, whether you play tennis on Sunday mornings, I mean, I don't know, whatever it is that you do for yourself, don't let people make you feel guilty about it. Like, that is your happiness. Like, that's whatever it is. I say, like, embrace it and don't apologize. And you know what? You will find that people who love you um, will just accept it and they're not going to try to change you anyway. So I just... Those are my three things. What are your three things? Like, if you had to give me your three things to your keys to happiness like what are they um, list three things list five things ten things down below whatever you got I'm curious to hear how you guys um, keep yourself happy and what works what doesn't work for you guys so I will catch you guys later bye